the NoSQL databases allow something that was labeled uh, polyglot persistence by Martin Fowler back in 2012. He said that instead of just picking up a relational database, because that's what everybody does, we need to understand the nature of the data that we're storing and how we want to manipulate it. Uh, the result is that most organizations have a mix of data storage technologies for different circumstances. And this, um, this prediction from nine years ago uh, was right on target. And today it's really commonplace in most large and complex organizations to have uh, this way of storing data. So um, Martin Fowler's wonderful blog led to this book uh, published in 2013. Um, it was a great inspiration for me back then, uh, eventually leading to my uh, founding of Accolade. Uh, but it also has been a great inspiration to many data architects, and I really uh, highly recommend it. Even if the technologies have evolved a lot since, because uh, NoSQL technology has matured a lot um, uh, since the book was written and is now becoming really uh, mainstream. So different databases uh, are designed to solve different problems. Um, we need to realize that applications are complex and uh, complex applications combine different types of problems. So it would be an illusion to think that there is a single uh, storage model that fits all of these purposes. And today it would be a missed opportunity not to leverage the strengths of technologies easily available um, in the cloud. So the point is uh, that not all problems can be elegantly uh, solved by a single database. Choosing the best tool for each use case ensures that you don't have to make endless compromises. In many cases, you always have someone who uh, will say that you can insert a, a screw with a hammer. Uh, and maybe you can, but uh, not without giving up features, ease of use, uh, total cost of ownership, uh, flexibility, et cetera, et cetera. 